Hi friends, welcome to Lean Factory. This is Anand, your Lean Manufacturing Consultant. In this video, we are going to talk about some of the common challenges faced by rubber industries and what are the various challenges and what are the improvement activities we can do to improve the productivity and quality. That's what we are going to discuss in this particular video. Come, let's get started. The rubber industry can be primarily classified into two major categories. One is the tire industry and other uh, categories like you know, uh, footwear, gloves, mats, etc. can be categorized into other, uh, the second category. So in this video, we are going to talk about the second category that is uh, footwear, you know, other rubber products. We are not going to focus on the tire industry. Generally in a rubber factory, there are two types of operations. The first one is the preparation stage that is you know, mixing up the chemicals, you know, kneading, uh, milling, that is rolling mill, etc. And the second activity is the curing activity or we can, in technically we can call it as a vulcanizing activity. That's when the rubber you know, gets solidified and uh, you know, it, it, it gets the properties what the customers desire for. So two major categories of operation, the first one is preparation and the second one is the vulcanizing activity. So what are the common challenges faced by these rubber companies? We can look at the challenges faced by these rubber companies into two types. One is the machine related or uh, the pr process related activities. So typically people have to weigh the chemicals, different type of chemicals used for the process. Then they have to mix it in a kneading machine. Then it goes into a rolling mill where it's further mixed and it's, it, it, it forms in the form of a sheet. And then uh, there is also a calendaring activity where the sheets are uh, formed properly. These are all the various activities that, that happens in the preparation stage. So this preparation stage, the machines are all typically old and uh, what happens is people don't take care of the machines properly. So there will be a lot of oil leakage, steam leakage, you know, uh, air leakage in the machines. Then the chemicals will be you know, uh, uh, spilled all over the place. So uh, and the machines there will be a lot of noise and vibration because this kneading and this you know, rolling mill and all, these are heavy duty mills are heavy duty machines where you know, there are a lot of vibrations and you know, uh, uh, noise will come after a long period of usage. So people since they don't take care of the machines, the, the machines will not perform you know, effectively and there will be a lot of leakages you know, like I said earlier, there will be a lot of these issues. So all these problems will lead to the breakdowns of the machines, right? uh, frequent breakdowns is a big issue and sometimes the, uh, the changeover, right? uh, for example in a calendaring machine. In a, in a press during the vulcanizing process they will be doing you know the pressing activity you know? so high temperature and high pressure will be involved sometimes there will be a lot of changeover activities so two major areas for improvement or two major challenges is one is the machine related issues frequent breakdown and uh, you no know, the second one is high changeover time those two are the major challenges in terms of machinery and coming to the general operations, uh, because there are a lot of chemicals involved, you know, generally I have seen many rubber industries where the cleanliness, the fibers is not that great in many units, you know, because the chemical storages, you know, the, the mixing area and you know, we can see a lot of spillages of, uh, spillages of chemicals and uh, this creates a lot of issues and so the overall the fibers will be a big issue in many companies. So these are the common challenges in, in a rubber processing industry, other than this, Yes, the common challenges for any manufacturing company like you no know, uh, on-time delivery, quality issues, right? purchase and stores, inventory control, all those things are already there. right? The, those issues are also there, but predominantly for this particular industry, the rubber industry, the key challenges are uh, the fibers part, you no know, overall cleanliness. And the second one is machinery related, a lot of this you know, leakages, you no know, poor uh, maintenance of machines those challenges result in a lot of breakdowns of machines. So these are all the common challenges. How do we fix it, right? Uh, how to address the frequent breakdowns? Uh, we can implement a tool called TPM, Total Productive Maintenance, where people focus on improving uh, the machinery availability. That is, people take care of the machines. Uh, leakages should be fixed, air leakage, oil leakage, everything. For example, noise and vibration, those needs to be fixed. People should start taking care of the machines properly. So that is one area where we can you know straight away uh, implement TPM and, and we can you know improve the overall productivity. Second one is how we can implement tools like SMED, single minute exchange of dice. How can I re reduce the change over time? That is also you know a helpful tool for uh, rubber processing industries. So these are all the common challenges and ways to improve the productivity and quality of uh, rubber processing industries. I will talk to you guys in the next video. If you like this particular video, please subscribe and you can click the bell icon. 
so that whenever we post a new video you you'll get a notification so thank you very much for watching i'll talk to you guys in the next video see you bye